As the war in Ukraine continues, one man right here in mid-Michigan is making it his business to make sure that ravaged areas have access to medications and other life-saving equipment. He calls himself a delivery guy, but Odie Norkin is more than that. Officials with the Greater Lansing Jewish Federation say there's a Yiddish word for a man like him. It's mensch, which means good person. Norkin is VP of Michigan Flyer, a transportation service that takes passengers between East Lansing, Brighton, Ann Arbor, and Detroit Metro Airport. Norkin is originally from Ukraine and came to the States in the 70s to attend Michigan State. His grandparents were killed during the Holocaust, trying to find their way to safety. My grandparents were refused in 1941 uh, to the Russians did not allow them to board the evacuation trains that were heading to Siberia to the work camps uh, because they were categorized as too old to work in the work camps and hence they were left behind and we lost them. So, so when Norkin watched the Russian invasion into the Ukraine, he felt compelled to do something to help people trying to get out of harm's way. Now he's performing what's known as a mitzvah, a Jewish word for doing good deeds. We started as kids at Hebrew school learning that mitzvah is something that we do, and I don't think it's unique to the Jewish faith. I think it, uh, it's common to, 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 to many, many people. Norkin reached out to a Jewish congregation in Romania to see if he could volunteer his transportation service, but the rabbi told him what was really needed. When the the rabbi who shared with me what's going on in, in Odessa said, we don't need your transportation help, but it would be extremely helpful if you show up with an ambulance. Norkin managed to get an ambulance and deliver it. Now he is on his second mission to deliver another ambulance with the help of a local man who is just as committed as he is. Marco Maximilian Katz says Norkin's drive inspired him to help in any way he could. To go to the United States to come back, and uh, to spend the hours, look, we drove to Odessa uh, almost 24 hours. We've been on the road. We drove during the night. It's not a very pleasant uh, place to be in. And in spite of whatever Odette said about safety, uh, there can be surprises. Both Norkin and Katz say they will deliver the second ambulance to Dnipro later on this week. Right now, it's being outfitted with medications and equipment. If you'd like to help Norkin perform his mitzvah of delivering ambulances, we have a link to the Greater Lansing Jewish Foundation on our website. That's fox47news.com. Your neighborhood reporter, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.